I would also like to ask you about the big news in the automobile sector with regard to Tata Motors. They have announced a demerger of their passenger vehicle and the commercial vehicle business. Many say that uh, this is a logical step to the subsidization they had carried out in 2022. Uh, how do you see this as important for the automobile industry, for a company like Bajaj Auto? You have often spoken about the need to have the electric vehicle business functioning separately. Well, uh, I would say, if you see what we have done uh, with the Chetak, uh, we have a electric-only brand in Chetak. 15 years ago, Chetak was an ICE product. Then there was no Chetak for 15 years. Uh, so today, it is exclusively an electric product. Uh, we don't also make a petrol Chetak, for example. Uh, secondly, uh, the, the product uh, you know, uh, is, is an all-electric product like any other EV product in the marketplace. Thirdly, within um, Bajaj Auto, the entire uh, business unit of the vertical that deals with Chetak deals only with Chetak. So my colleague Eric and his team that report into Rakesh, you know, uh, that's all they do. So it's like a company within a company, so to speak. And finally, I uh, already referred to that a couple of times that we have built an entirely independent network or we are in the process of building an entirely independent network for Chetak. Um, uh, it will take us some time, but eventually there will be you know, five, seven hundred Chetak dealers uh, all over the country. So we have also in that sense demerged, but I would say we haven't done it in a corporate or legal or technical sense that perhaps Tata has uh, announced um, uh, yesterday. Uh, we have done it more in a business marketing strategic sense, if I may say so, in an artistic sense that we have carved it out uh, within, within the existing business. And I think this makes sense uh, for us, at least for now, uh, for the fundamental reason, uh, or two reasons, you know, one is the Tata business or a Mahindra business is a very capex intensive business, you know, the car business. Uh, I have always said that our business is more like an FMCG business. It is not a capex intensive business, but it's a very scale sensitive business, uh, you know. So we need to, on the one hand, certainly have a distinct identity. Um, that is charming for the customer at the front end in terms of the uh, uh, electric products we offer. Uh, but at the same time, we cannot uh, dilute or diminish the strength we have, which uh, a, a startup uh, doesn't have today, which is the scale that we and our suppliers and dealers uh, can bring to bear upon the, uh, upon this business. So we have to combine the best of both worlds in that sense. And therefore, in terms of, uh, you know, all manufacturing and supply chain, purchasing, engineering, all those activities um, uh, being in the existing Bajaj Auto is enormously synergistic uh, in terms of uh, cost primarily and all other operating parameters. Um, you know, this as well, and that is why I can, I can say to you that although in the last two or three years, I received many proposals uh, uh, from time to time to, you know, uh, carve it out separately and um, uh, raise money, etc. And I've said this to you before that, uh, you know, just because there's some free money fro floating around for a while, um, you know, it doesn't mean you go and, uh, and burn it. Uh, in fact, you have to be more responsible uh, when, when it's somebody else's money than, than your own. Uh, so, uh, how do I uh, raise money on the one hand and on the other hand say to you, we are going to do a buyback at 12,000 rupees? I mean, it's a contradictory statement, right? So, the solution for Tata is different uh, in short because their business model is different. The solution uh, or what is right for Bajaj uh, is different and we have to do what's right for Bajaj.